Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I already discussed about that things with you, how can set up your front end. And as I told you, every project, they have the two part. One is the front end part and another one is the back end part. So I already set up our front end. I created one of the index page. I created one of the category page and also I created one of the single page. For now, in this video, I will start a new session. It's about setup admin view for project template. Finding out the admin template, you have to go your exercise file. As I told you, the, I will share that file with you. And then there is our project template and there is our template folder. I already discussed about the font and now there is a, another template for the admin. So here there is an admin. And here you can see there is actually the template, all that is static HTML page on particular disposition and also the images and the asset. So for now here, I just want to add some of the categorized page and for the categorized page, I need actually three page. One is for the listing page, one is for the edit page and one is for the create page. So first of all, I just want to do that work and I will create one of the master blade and then into the master blade, I will actually customize it as per our founding. So it should be very much clear to you step by step i will show you so for doing this first of all we have to do we have to go our project so that is our project and in our project there is a resource and into the resource there is a view so before i already created one of the folder for our, all that fonts so that is a clear font so right now for the admin i just create another folder and i just name it as the admin and i create it so here i created one of the folder as the admin now we have to do we have to go to our template area and into the template here you can see there is all that asset and into the asset there is a css font js and the scss okay and also there is the images and if you open our admin panel like i will show you how that things actually look like so our admin panel will be looked like this okay so they have a the lot of the things like they have, they have the tables there is a lot of the component okay so whatever the page we will create we will actually add uh, some of the things on particular disposition will create that page. So all that aesthetic page you can see there are a lot of the pages. So first of all, we have to do we have to actually copy two of this like asset and all that images. And now I just copy two of these from here and now go to our project directory and into the project directory that is actually the public. And into the public here, I already created one of the folder for our font lead as a font. So right now I want to create another folder and I just name it as an admin. And into the admin here, I paste two of these files. Then we have to do, we have to actually create one of the master blade. Like, like here, if you open it with the sublink text editor. So we will do the same things. We what exactly the need I on particular dispositions like in our font, there is a layout and into the lay in our layout area. I just created one of the pages as a master blade. And then I included and I just segment all that area. Okay. So for now, I just want to do the same things. Right now, I want to also create one of the folder in our admin folder. Like here, I just create one of the folder as a layout. Okay, so here I just create one of the folder as a layout. And into the layout here, I created one of the page. So here I created one of the page as a master blade. So I just name it as a master, master.blade.php. And I just save it. So now into this page, like that is our index. So here that is all that our header part. There is some of the content. Okay. Into the admin layout, there is actually the sidebar. Okay. Also, there is a footer. So now I just want to segment that page for doing this before. So I just select all and now I just copy it. And here in our master blade, I just paste that things on particular disposition. Okay. So I think it's uh, very much familiar to you because I did that same things in our font in. So right now there is index HTML, we don't need this. So now I just want to actually segment that page with the header part that with the top bar. Okay, so this type of page I will create in our layout area. So first of all, here we have to do, we have to actually update our that path. So I already discussed about that things with you when I discuss about in our font in. So I will do that things later. First of all, I just want to segment that part like that is actually our all the resources. That means the CSS, all that code. So better I just cut that things from here. Okay, uh, better I just uh, select with these comments. So here I just cut that things from to this position. And in our layout here, I created one of the new file and I just name it as a top. I just name it as a top dot blade dot PHP. And now I save it. And into the top dot blade here, I just paste all that our resources. And now we have to do, we have to include that page, right? 
so for doing this i think it's very much clear to you what exactly you have to do like i just define the include to so include and into the include we have to assign our directory where exactly that file so i created that file in our admin then the layout and then the top right so i just want to do that work like here first of all i just assign the admin folder then and our directory is a layout and then the page as a top and now here if you go to our template like here in our template there is actually the two part one is the left part and one is the right part and into the right part that means after that header that is actually the dynamic okay so this part will be updated so i just want to do that work and rather than the left part and the header part will be the same and for the left part here i just name it as a navigation so first of all here i just want to segment our that part that means the navigation part the left part so here if you go to these positions like here you can see there is the as side as the left panel so for now that is our left panel so here i just start that things from here and in our layout here i create one new page and i click on the save as and i just name it as a navigation dot blade dot php okay so here i create a new page and here i paste that our left side navigation that means this part okay i hope you can well understand about it so now we have to do we have to include that part so we have to include that part on particular disposition so here i just define the include okay include and then i hear our directory so here i just define that as a admin then dot layout then dot our navigation so that means that our page name so that is actually our page then i also segment our header part like that is actually the header part and uh, there is actually dashboard we get there is some of the images some of the notification area so this part is actually the header part so right now i also want to segment that part so for doing this like here uh, you can see there is a right panel there is a header there is a header part so here i just assign that header so now i just cut that header from here and in our layout i just create new page I just click on the save as and I just name it as a header dot blade dot php. Okay, I hope you can well understand about it. And now here I paste our header part and in our master blade we have to include it. So here I define that at the rate and the include. And then here I have to define the directory. So here our directory is the admin and then our directory is the layout and then our page name is a header okay so here i just assign that header then they have the another part like that is actually the another part and this part will be the dynamic okay like here if you go to the any other page like here if you go here like you can see that the header part is the same the sidebar is the same but only that part that means this part is become changed so here i want to actually make the things dynamic for doing this uh, first of all we have to do we have to actually find out that appropriate file location so for doing this like here that is actually the um, border drum so here, that is actually our will be our main content part so here i just added all the things on here first of all here i actually uh, minimize it then it should be easy for us so here that is another one and that is this one and then one and then this the column okay so this is the other one i just minimize it i just minimize that tape and there is also another footer is also included on here so here i included it okay so now that is another tape that is another tape so from here from here i have to actually uh, copy it uh, like this one of the tape okay so like here mm -hmm. yeah so now here that is actually our content part like there is actually you can see there is just some of the note on here is a content so the content and on particular disposition so better i just cut that things from here okay i just cut that things from here so there is one of the db and dev and here just finish that dev so now this portion will be our main things that means this will be the dynamic okay for the reasons in our admin here i created as a new file 
and here I just name it as a dashboard dot blade dot php okay so I just paste all that contain in our dashboard blade dot php page so I hope you can well understand about it and this portion will be the dynamic for the reasons right now we have to also make the things as yield for that reason I just define that at the rate yield okay and here I just define the content I just pass on the ID as a content so I already discussed about that things with you when I discuss about the font view It's pretty much the same things here I just define one of the pages at the top one of the pages as a navigation and I just include the header and this part will be the dynamic cause because always this part will be changed okay so for the reasons I just make as a yield and here I just define as a one of the content then they have all that our script that means all that our JSS file okay like I just copy all the things from here first of all I just select it and here I cut all that script and now in our in our this layout page here I created another new page I just click on the save as and I just name it as a bottom okay bottom dot blade dot php so for now I just paste all that our script on particular disposition and now we have to do we have to include that so here I just define that include and then here I have to define our directory so here our directory is admin dot layout and dot bottom okay so here I just define that bottom link on particular disposition and then I have to do I have to update all that path like that is actually all that path we have to update it so if you want to do that work I already discussed about that things with you first of all you have to define the two second bracket and into this position first of all one of the function as the asset so here I just define that asset okay and asset means the our main root directory and what exactly that file that means this CSS so if you go back like here if you go back so that is our main root directory that is our news directory for this project then we have to go to the public and then you have to go to the admin and then there is actually the asset right and after that asset then all that uh, CSS file on particular disposition so we have to define that path so first of all after that asset that means that root directory then we have to go to the public then admin then the asset so here I have to define that link so here I just define that link on particular disposition for doing this here I just first of all define the public and then the admin folder and then our asset and here you can see that is actually uh, that is a clad bean then the asset then the CSS so this link already added on particular disposition as a asset CSS and the normalized.css okay so for now I just copy it and I just paste that things on here right now we don't need this I just remove that things from here so I hope you can well understand about it and we also do the same things for our this URL so I just better copy it and here I just paste it so after the public then the admin then the asset already here and then bootstrap means so I just cut it from to this position and here I just paste on particular this area okay there is the asset CSS and then the bootstrap mean and if you go on particular disposition here you can see there is also the bootstrap mean on particular disposition so here we have to actually update all that link and for this one so here I just copy it again I just copy it again and here I paste it so for now there is an asset CSS and then our this one so I just cut it and here I just paste it so that's how we have to update our top blade all that file we have to update the, all the images in our navigation blade and also there is a header part we also have to update it okay so if there have any images and in link then we have to update that there is a dashboard we also have to update it and there's a bottom so there is also the JS file so if you also want to update it then you have to define that uh, on particular disposition like I show you with the one then it will be very much clear to you so first of all there is a double second bracket okay uh, like here I just define the double second bracket and then the asset and then we have to define the public and then where exactly we have to go like here if you go to this position there is the asset Okay, that is in our admin there is an asset then the JS and here there's all that file so now we have to actually add that so already they have that link okay like there is an asset JS vendor so right now I just cut it from here so after that public then the admin and then I have to paste that things on particular disposition 
okay so that's how also we have to update all that our JSS. So I will do the things and when it will be done, then I will come back again. And your task is to update all the path for our bottom, top, there is navigation blade, there is a header blade and the dashboard blade. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.